this is 13th video of 8051 theories my name is milan shah and today's topic is t mode register now timer and counter register has two basic sfrs which are timer control register and t mode register so t mode register is 8 bit register It is divided into two groups, timer 0 and timer 1. So as you can see here, the lower 4 bits are meant for timer 0 and the upper 4 bits are meant for timer 1. It is not bit addressable, means it is byte addressable. So we have to write the bytes while coding. So as you can see here, there are M0, M1 c slash t gate the same is for this timer one this c slash t means counter or timer you can select any one now every timer has a mean of starting and stopping it is done by this gate gate bit now here if gate bit is equal to zero then it means the internal control the start and stop of timer are controlled by way of software it set or clear the tr for start or stop the timer this tr will be studied and t on register so this is the meaning of gate register to stop or start and from where from software or from external source or external control now if gate is equal to 1 it means the external control the hardware way of starting and stopping the timer by software and an external source both are required It is enabled only while INT pin is high and the TR control pin is set. This all the things will be studied in TCON register. So now move on to C slash T. This timer or counter selected clear for timer operation. Timer operation means input from internal system clock and counter operation means input from TX input pin. So we can select timer or counter from this pin. Now let's move on to M1 and M0. The M stands for here mode. It is used for mode selection. Because the timer of 8051 can be set in 4 different modes, then we can select this different mode from M1 and M0. Now as you can see the table here, when the both bits are 0, then it means the mode 0. Now what mode 0 is, it is a 13 bit timer mode which has 8 bit THX higher and 5 bit TLX means lower and this X means 0 over 1 means TH 0 over 1 or TL 0 over 1 now when M0 is equal to 1 and M1 is equal to 0 it will select mode 1 the mode 1 is 16 bit timer mode which has 8 bit THX plus 8 bit TLX. Now, when M1 is equal to 1 and M0 is equal to 0, it will select mode 2. Now, what mode 2 is? It is 8 bit auto reload mode. It means 8 bit auto reload timer or counter mode. Here, THX holds the value which is to be reloaded. reloaded into TLX each time it overflow. So 
so all the operation of timer is done in TLX and when TLX overflows the THX value give to the TLX so it will reset automatically now if both the modes is equal to 1 then it will give the mode 3 which is split timer mode this split timer mode is not used wisely so we will talk about this later if we use it so this is the T mode register gate C dash T or C slash T and M0 and M1 ok so that's it for now do like share subscribe comment below and thanks for watching